This video is a brief overview of the Qualtrics interface. Once you have an account set up, you'll see um, it should look something like this. You'll see a list of active surveys. Those are the ones the most recent. You can search by name, see all projects. If any are collecting data, it will have your information, information about the responses coming in for those. Show workflow, which is a more advanced thing um, over there. And um, what you'll see here, the most important button is this create a new project button. So I'm going to go ahead and start from there in this video. That's how you create a survey. Okay, once you've clicked on that, you can use some of these guided projects, they call it, um, or templates and so forth. If you're doing something that fits into one of these kinds of categories, and they are typically things that are um, used for in business settings um, for the most part, um, as opposed to maybe something that's more of our academic type research, I do more academic type research, then a lot of these types of things are really might be useful to you. However, I'm going to show you how to create a survey from scratch, which is the way I usually do it. I click on that. You'll see this pop up here. Click on get started. The first thing that you need to do is give it a name. Okay, so I've given it a name. You'll see options again here if you want to copy from an existing survey to revise it or, or some other more advanced things. But right here we're just going to create a blank survey. Click on Create Project. And we wait for that to pop up. Now what you're going to see here is the title of your survey, which you can click on and change at any time. Most fields you can many or most fields you can click on um, at any time to change them. Um, you see over here there's um, options for adding questions or bringing questions from a library. That's um, an, another video I'm going to go through adding all the various types of questions you can add. However, I'll show you very briefly here the essential, the essence of it is that each question you write and maybe have some kind of a, a text that you can fill in. Um, and if you hit enter or come out of that, you're going to see if it's something that it can pick up on as quite intelligent as, as being commonly asked, it will fill in the choices for you. However, you can check on these and change them to be whatever you want. And essentially, you're going to use this plus button here, um, or this plus button, or this plus button to add more questions. If you do this question, it adds a question before. If you use this plus question, it adds a question after. This also adds a question after. Over here, um, just was what you would use if you want to move the question, copy the question. Sometimes we want to copy it and then slightly revise if we have one that is similar. It allows us to add a page break here and so forth or preview just that question. But you can also add a page break using, um, once you have more than one question here, there'll be a little plus option right about here that allows you to add a page break if you'd like to do so. So that's basically what you're going to see. And then you're going to see for what, see this questions outlined in blue. Okay, whichever question you've got that's outlined in blue, you're going to see all the options for that question along the left. And there's quite a few options. Um, you know, you've got question type where you can choose what kind of question you want it to be. You can toggle between, you know, one or multiple answers, number of choices, a variety of things. This is give, using a suggested choices. And um, there's a variety of things here. And I'll talk about um, a lot of these when I go through the various question types in another video. Um, others, some of the other things such as validation will have their own, um, their own video to look at and so forth. And some of these things like display and skip logic and some of these kinds of things we'll look at in other videos. That's the, the basics of what you find here in terms of creating questions. You'll notice this terminology um, block it says add block, default question block. Um, um, Qualtrics will allow you to put questions together in groups or blocks. You can give a name to that by clicking on it. 
Um, you can add a new block here, and then you might have several questions within a block. The, the reason you might want to do that is because you may want to have a set of questions that are skipped, for example, under certain question um, conditions or only asked under certain questions. So you may have a, a block that is skipped for all the females, or you may have a block that you say only asked all the females, and so forth. And so that makes it simple that you've got this, this whole section that is skipped over for certain um, groups of people or only asked to certain groups of people. So that's what that's used for there. There's a variety of other tabs here. This Tools tab um, allows you to do some um, other things. One of the more common things might be to collaborate, to share your survey with someone else so they can also work on it. To import, export, um, you might want to export out um, like a printed version of the survey. Um, you might want to export it to Word, maybe, so like an IRB board can review it, something like that. So there's some a variety of things here I'll go through in other videos. Um, also, be aware you've got these tabs up here. Workflows is fairly complex. I'll go through that another time. Distributions is where you'd get links to distribute your survey, or where you could put an email list of people to email it to directly. Data and analysis is a great place for finding the data when you're done to download or export your data. It allows you to also do some rudimentary analysis in there. Um, so right now I don't have anything here, but there's some basic things you can have it do for you there. And um, same within results and reports. Those are just all various tools that can be used. If you want to do analysis like within Qualtrics, you can do basic analysis like summary statistics and cross tabs, that kind of thing if you wish to. Um, the other thing is um, we've got a variety of tools over here as well. Um, this one we work on to work on building the survey. This next one is called survey flow. That's for if you've got several blocks and you want to have like if thens with for those blocks, then you would use this section to set that up. Um, right here, the look and feel is where you have most of your options as to how the survey is going to actually look. Some fine tuning of that. Survey options has some other settings in it, like security settings, like maybe they need a password to do the survey or something like that. And translations is for language translations. So that's a um, basic overview. Only other thing to be aware of is if you decide you don't want a question and you delete it, um, let's say I delete that question, you'll see that it pops down to the bottom down in the trash. So that leaves that there for you. Um, you can empty the trash, it's kind of like the recycle bin on a Windows computer. You can empty the trash if you want to get rid of it, or, you know, it's sometimes that's nice to have there in case you change your mind and you want it back. So that's a brief overview of the interface here for Qualtrics.